How you doing, man? How is Camp going? Oh, I'm good, alhamdulillah, man. Listen, Camp is going amazing, per usual. You know, Camp is always good, always good, though. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always pushing myself. I'm always trying to be the, the, the better me uh, each camp. And uh, I feel great this camp, strong. Yeah, my question for you, man, is, uh, oh, first off, I've watched your entire career, uh, probably like 12, 13, man. And it's been amazing to watch. And my, my question for you is simple. How does it feel uh, to finally be in a position where things are going your way and, and, and you can sort of start, start to map out what you want your career to look like and not react to yeah yeah i mean um it was you know ultimately to to be in this position to to make the biggest fights happen you know uh, make the best fights happen and uh you know i'm getting closer and closer to that position i mean i am in that position because i'm i'm, I'm each each any fight that i'm that i'm in is a big fight so you know it's a blessing to be in this position position it's a blessing to be closer and closer to, to, to where I want to be, but I ultimately want to make the biggest fights happen. And that's why, you know, a lot of people see me say the other day, like, I wasn't really interested in making, I mean, in being undisputed again. You know, I did it. I did it. They wasn't really giving me my credit. They wasn't, you know, they was they were still finding something to say, but they're going to do that regardless. It's, it's all about, you know, I'm chasing, I'm chasing, to, you know, to, to be the best me. I want, I want to make the best fights happen. I want to get, get all that I can out of this game while I can, while I'm fresh, while I'm hungry, while, while, while I'm at my best. And, uh, right now it's, it's, it's that time. So, you know, I want to make the best fight fights happen. I want to make, I want to fight the best fighters in the world. So these guys at uh 140, if, you know, if they want to make it happen, we can make it happen. But obviously, you know, we got Ryan ahead of, uh, in front of us, but, um, the world will see how how easy I make this fight is. That this fight look, we know we know what Ryan is gonna do. We know Ryan is gonna come in there. He's gonna, you know, try to put the pressure and try to just, you know, jump on me, get get wild like like we we've seen you know um, do before. But Ryan makes a lot of mistakes and I and he gets very anxious and that's for me to capitalize on 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 you know him making those mistakes, him being over anxious, him you know the the, the world will see. All right, so look, look, we got a lot of gamblers in here listening right now, man. A lot of cats making these bets every day. You got to let us know what round is this going going down in, man? Do we need to we need to be thinking early or late? What's happening? No, I mean, like I said, Ryan gets very over anxious, and I know that he's gonna come out and he and he going to you know be wild and do all that, and he gonna run into something early and I'm going to hurt him early. Same thing like Regis. So I think, I think it's going to be early because I know what type of, you know, fight plan that he's trying to come with. We, we, I, I, like I said, I studied him and I know the mistakes that he makes. About to be a Mayweather Gotti type of thing going on here. This is going to be, yeah, this is going to be rough. Yeah, not, not, it. Nah, that's funny because my, my homie that I'm sitting next to, he said, he, he said, man, I just, I just said that because he just said round seven. So I don't Devin, know. I've listen, been, listen, I've been listen, saying what? that since y'all signed the fight, Devin. Yeah, yeah, and uh, what you what, what y'all think? Y'all think right? Y'all think it's all antics or right? Or y'all th- what y'all yes, think? Yeah, Devin, look, this is what I think. Devin. We need I'm some more. We need, we need some more people in here talking. We need some more people in here talking. Yeah, I think right not now, to Devin. look past, yeah. not to look past Ryan, but if you could have it your way, how you map out like your next maybe two, two, three fights after that one? Yeah, um, you've been there for a minute. Thank you, brother. Um, my bad, I was doing something, but um, you know, I want to make the biggest fights happen and. Ryan Garcia, they got we got Tiafimo Lopez, we got Matias. Those, those, those are the, the the top guys in the weight class right now. But we never know. We, uh, it definitely got to make sense. But those are the guys that's that you know that excite me. And do you do you think Tia will actually take the fight? Because I feel like y'all could probably make the business work. But do you it would be Tia? obviously 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 we obviously we know that. A Tank Davis fight is a super fight, and that's a fight that I would love to make. But um, we got to see. Whatever happens, it feel like if if he loses, it's gonna be you know, the excuse is gonna be mental illness. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I mean whatever whatever Ryan doing, if he's faking, if he's not faking, whatever the case may be, that ain't gonna change what I'm gonna do to him. Regardless, he 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 gonna go in there and do whatever he's his game plan is gonna do. Whatever his game plan is, regardless too. So no matter what he say, no matter what I say. We 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 at this level for a reason, so you know uh, it's it's he could do all the acting he won't. That ain't gonna stop me from preparing and uh, being the best that I could be.
Now I feel that yo, this this is Najee from Cigar Talk, by the way. We we did an interview before you. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I was hey, I was just watching you and Derek James today. Okay, yeah. salute, salute, bro. We gotta get another one in, but yeah, I did want to ask you. Um, uh, just I know I seen your uh your undisputed tweet that you wanted to go for undisputed at forty. Who you feel like is the harder fight for you, just in terms of style, uh, Tia Fimo or or Sabro Matias? I mean, Styles make fights. We can't say. We can't say until we share the ring. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we've seen, we seen Tio at the top level. We haven't really seen Matias at that elite, elite level. So um, just off the top, top of my head, I would say Tio. I would say Tio is the more, you know, he got the more experience. But obviously we know Matias is, is bringing to the table as well. But I think um, I think I think that Matias is in a good fight with Liam Pearl. I th I don't think he should sleep on Liam Pearl. Yeah, that's a fact. I sparred I sparred Liam Pearl um, a few times, so he definitely can't sleep on him. I don't know what kind of tactics he got. I don't know what's trying to like draw people away from the fight. But we ain't never seen no shit like this ever. Talk about the fight. You talking about everything else that he barely don't even even know about. I, I've never I've never seen him say one time. Make sure you all these folks he have in his face. He never said one time. Make sure you tune in my fight April twentieth on the zone by the paper. He's never said that. But like I said, anyway, beat this nigga ass because he he he's been talking some real crazy shit. Ryan didn't used to be like that. Ryan used to be a cool dude. Man. That nigga's that nigga's an alcoholic. He's an alcoholic. He he drink he drinks. That's where he come with all this boy. He be drunk. Oh, so he's just like me. <laughs> you be saying crazy. You be you be saying crazy. Drunk? Say crazy. Drunk. Yeah. When I'm sober. 